Hi everyone, welcome to the 84th session of Python for Machine Learning. In this session, we will learn how to drop a specific column of a pandas data set or we will learn how to achieve the column slicing uh, slices in excluding specific column in a pandas data frame. So what I mean to say is suppose this is our we have imported the pandas and will create the like data, data set. Now the survive column is not like it is not the last column or the first column it is inside the data set okay so how do we delete that so there are several methods i will show two two of those methods so what we'll do we'll create one more df1 data set which is equal to df dot we'll use loc and then colon this then what we'll write df dot columns first of all if you write df dot columns what it will throw it will so we will subtract okay or we will set a conditions on the columns where df dot columns is is not equals to suppose we don't want to survive okay now you print df1 dot head or df1 dot info so you can see that survive column is not there right if you want to drop multiple columns then we have to set simply simply some, some conditions here df dot columns not equals to survive and one more condition df dot is not equal suppose fair column this fair column we don't want not equals to fair now if we execute these two lines you can see survive and fair is not there so this is one of the way how you can achieve it this will be required especially uh, in the supervised learning where you will be given two data set train data set and the test data set test data set will have one column less than the train data set so when we'll be pre uh, when we'll be extracting the features rather the uh, like what we call the feature extraction we do, will not extract the will not extract the output variable or we can say the survive column which is what we need to determine so instead of that rest of the column will serve, will extract so this is specifically related to those that scenario where we don't want to extract some or a single column or few column. So the second method, what I have taught just now is a method number one. Then we'll see the method number two. Method number two is very simple. Either you can like you can say df dot drop whatever I have taught in my previous sessions, df dot columns. Okay, and then inside the column you simply pass the index of that column. Now my axis is equal to one. For column wise axis is equal to one and if you want to select uh, if you want to save it then you have to give in place it will save it then and there if I execute this df dot draw so here my survive column is gone now if I pass two more columns one comma two now as per this data set the current data set first column is p class and the second column will be name so now the resultant data set will have passenger followed by the sex column. We will execute this again. Now if you see this, the passenger is followed by the sex column. Now you don't want to pass the index. You want to pass the name of the column. Then in that case, we have to pass df dot drop, df dot columns, and then inside the column, suppose. So what is the content of our df now? The content of the df is passenger followed by sex and age. So we want to delete a sex and age column. So sex first column followed by axis equals to one comma is equal to two. Okay. Okay. When we are passing sex, okay, in that case we don't need to pass the column name because sex itself is a column name. Okay. So in that case, this is sufficient. This is how it will work. So because there is a single uh, column we are dropping, so we have to give a single square bracket. So you can see the sex column is gone. Now we will delete the age and the sub sp. Sub sp is capital S here. Unhashable type list. Why it is showing like this? Now if we execute this, fine. So this is how we will drop the column based on the column name. In this session, we have learned how to drop the columns, which is like not in the first position or in the last position based on the name we can drop, then based on the index. And again, using drop, we can pass both the index and the na uh, name of the column and using LOC location, we can pass the 
uh, like column name and we can delete so thanks a lot for watching this session if you feel this video is helpful please press the like button and subscribe to this channel and i'll see you in the next video thank you